Mali's interim president sought to reassure international partners that the country will be ready to hold democratic elections by July as promised. President Dian Conde Traore made the comments before a meeting in the capital that included representatives from the United Nations, the European Union, the African Union and the West African regional bloc known as ECOWAS. For more, CCTV's Kate Parkinson is in the northern city of Gao. Mali's interim president opened the meeting in the capital of Bamako by saying that Mali is now free, although he admitted the country still needs to be secured. Nonetheless, he said that with the help of Mali's allies, he was confident that the country could hold both presidential and parliamentary elections in July. Following its swift intervention to rid the country's north of Islamist fighters, France is pushing for Mali to hold elections quickly to complete the country's transition to democracy. But critics have questioned how elections can be held when hundreds of thousands of people still remain displaced following the political turmoil which started here in March 2012 following a coup which ousted the then president who was democratically elected from power. Another issue is the security of the country, certainly in the northern towns of Gao where I am now, as well as Timbuktu and Kedal. Now, all three of these towns have seen recent suicide bombings carried out by terror groups after their members were pushed out in the French-led intervention. Kadal is of a particular concern because that town is still held by the MNLA, a secular Tuareg rebel group. The Malian army have not been able to enter the town and no Malian state representatives are there, leaving many asking the question, how can elections be held? And so the big question that hangs over the authorities here in Mali is how to secure Mali's northern towns and pave the way for the nation to go to the polls. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Gao.